The Law Society of Kenya has today filed a constitutional petition on behalf of 28 victims of police brutality who sustained injuries with some having been killed during the second pro the 2023 pro protests against the high cost of living. Now, speaking at the Kisumu High Court on Wednesday, LSK Kisumu Chairperson Dr. Solwatch uh, revealed that the victims drawn from Kisumu, Migori, and Homa Bay counties had suffered untold suffering following instances of police excesses during the protests. John Ahala, whose son was shot dead during the protest in Nyalenda, called for justice for not only his son, but for other victims who also lost their loved ones in the hands of the police. The 2023 opposition-led protests erupted following the removal of subsidies on maize flour, as well as petroleum, among other things. Our aim is to not only hold responsible those who took part in the atrocities, but to also push for greater command responsibility within the police service, as well as reparations and compensation for the victims and their family. Then the prayers are eight in number, and among them is to declare that the IG and the NPS, that is the National Police Service, violated the petitioner's rights, subjecting them not only to torture, cruel and hum inhumane degrading treatment by either shooting them or assaulting them or causing them se severe and fatal injuries. 